I noticed this issue the other day. No, it's not crooked teeth. No, it's not gray hair. Been there, done that. It is peach fuzz, facial hair. Can you believe we're getting that old? It's awful. The things that your body does, it's just awful. I'm going to try and show it to you, okay? Thank goodness this hair is kind of blonde. Okay, I just looked and I'm using Jake's comb. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my word. I mean, I have to use a comb to comb it down. And then when you get down here, it's just, it's so long. Okay, look at that. Oh my word. Um, so I have thought, you know, so many of the things that we women deal with are mental. Um, if you think about anything wrong with your body, there is a war waging in your mind telling yourself lies about like, I'm not good enough. I need to change that. I've got to change that. Um, and then you have to just guard your heart and guard your mind um, so that you're not getting consumed about that because you are worthy. You are good enough. But this is just an idea. It's something that we all have to deal with eventually. Um, and so we're just going to talk about it. We're going to just talk about it and not sweep it under the rug. Lord have mercy. I could like ride in a convertible and let this thing blow in the wind. It's awful. Okay, so you see that about me. How embarrassing. When I went back to edit, I realized that I was out of memory and none of my filming had uh, happened. So this is number two, day two, new nail color, new facial hair look for you. Different sunshiny look. You can really see it down there. So this is what I do as part of my morning routine. After I have washed my face, then put on, put on moisturizer with clean hands. I also do a facial found, foundation primer. If you've never used this it's kind of it looks like Vaseline but it's not hey Nathan looks like Vaseline Vaseline but it does not even feel like Vaseline it just helps your foundation go on more smoothly it is awesome oh it requires hardly any pressure on your fingers then I use my CC cream from Mary Kay it's it's what I use mostly all in the summer so it's a, a much darker shade and I make I'm using my summer shade just so you can see the difference uh, on camera. Okay, and I'm going kind of fast today, so you may see some really big missed spots. There is not a lot of information on peach fuzz and how to get rid of or how to conceal peach fuzz without using a we wear short shorts, nair or Veet, I believe, but one guy that I found is named Wayne Goss, and he suggests that you use your fingertips or whatever tool you use. I know lots of you use different tools for putting on foundation and stuff like that. Don't even look at the facial hair above my lip. I am not ready to face that one. <laughs> Get it? Face. <laughs> face that one. Okay, so he recommends just streaking, stroking your fingers whenever you lay something liquid down or powdery down in the direction your hair lays or lies. And you can see it's making it lay down, isn't it? So, and my neck is a lot whiter than the rest of my body for some reason. Even in the summer, it just does not get tan, even though that's where all my wrinkles go. go. So I'm having to blend down some colors into my neck now, and I'm having to uh, really pay attention to wrinkle coverage on my neck protection. So I'm just adding a little bit of blush just to dabble do ya, or as Cam Newton says, a dabble do ya. Just a little bit of blush, all right? And I use the Bare Minerals Bronzing Powder, always have, always will. And it just gives you a sun-kissed look. So just dab it. And I go around. And that's what also helps me blend down the color. But I messed up. I forgot I was going so fast. I'm supposed to flick it in the way my hair lies. Okay. Then we move on to professional. I always do this upside down professional finishing powder.
by CoverGirl. And if you haven't used CoverGirl in a long time since like middle school, you will be reminded as soon as you smell it of that first makeup smell from when you were a kid, a teenager. And I just use a little bit on here. Shake it off. Mmm, smoky eye. Ah. Shake it off. Um, and then you're just going to stipple it over here. I tried this with a kabuki brush, the flat topped brush from Bare Metals that um, they suggest using for foundation. But if you need a more intense, um, uh, voluminous kind of application of foundation, this is a great one to use. I just, uh, it made with finishing powder, whoo, it was too bright. And my little blonde, my little blonde hair is just shown like the top of the Chrysler building. Okay, so I'm just flicking everything down, but finishing my whole face. I really like how it finishes off my face. I'm not a finishing powder person, but I really like how it is. Now let's see the finished product. You can see they're lying down, lying down. Don't, don't look at the mess back there. Okay, they did pretty good. They did pretty good. I hope your day turns out to be just peachy and that you learn to be content with what you get and you don't throw a fit.